shut my mouth. Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Matthew 12, 33 through 37 from my devotions today. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit. O generation of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good fruit, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Ay, 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 ay. I read that in this devotional. I had to stop and ask forgiveness and then for strength. See, I know the Bible says in Matthew 15, 11, it's not what comes goes into a man that corrupts him, but it's what goes out of a man. It's not what goes into him that makes him unclean. It's what comes out of a person. Some wise person said to be sure your mind is running before you throw your tongue into gear. Yeah. You ever, ever notice how easy it is to become lax when you're hanging around the, the, a crowd of people in an area where we allow ourselves a whole lot more um, liberty than God seems to? James 3.8, says, The tongue can no man tame. It's an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Verse 10, he says, Out of the same mouth comes blessing and cursing. Brothers, these things shouldn't be. Boy, I love a good laugh. But how often a, sh a shade of improper humor can creep in if we're not careful. My mom always called it bathroom humor. And it needs to be flushed. I know better. I read verse 34, Out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. So I need to get my heart right. What is inside is what comes out. I'm drawn back again to the internal. I know the excuses we make, the reasons we think we have, but at the bottom, I want to be a 1 Corinthians 10.31 servant. And 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. I guess I need to be asking, how does what gets a laugh bring glory to God? How does what gets my point across bring glory to God? I'm praying for that in myself. Will you? Will you join me? You ponder that. Pastor.